We heard from Jay Powell yesterday. He was speaking at a council, a foreign relations event last night in New York. The Federal Reserve Chairman Powell stressed the central bank's independence, also emphasized that politics will not play a role in sustaining economic growth. Anything that matters for the achievement of the dual mandate, in principle, can matter for us. Matter for us. That is true of financial conditions and, and may, many other things. Um, uh, also, financial conditions, uh, our, our policy sort of works through financial conditions. We don't react to any one financial condition. It isn't one thing. It's the broad range of financial conditions, and we look for sustained changes. We, don't look, we try to look through short-term changes. Again, that's Jay Powell last night. Stephen, what do you think? Yeah, look, I agree with what he just said. You know, I don't agree with what they did last week. I think they should have cut rates by a quarter point. But I think the essence of what he was saying is right. Yes, I, I was asked this all the time when I was under nomination. Do you, do you think the Fed should be independent? Absolutely, I do. I also think the president has the right to weigh in and say, look, I agree with what you're doing or not. I think that's perfectly appropriate. But then um, the Fed can take it or leave it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, the Fed, I mean, uh, and, and so this is, look, I think Powell's done a, a good job. I give him a B. You know, I, we've got low interest rates, we've got strong employment, we've got rising wages. It's a good economy, and, and so Powell hasn't... I, I do think that what they did late last year did take some growth off of the economy. I think it really hurt, but I think we're back onto a pretty... And by the way, is there that big of a difference between whether they stay where they are right now or cut by a quarter point or so? Right. I mean, I think it could, at the margin, make a, a, you know, a positive contribution to the economy, but, but we're... In, I, look, I'm bullish on the economy, especially if you get that trade deal done. Bullish on the economy, but also thinking that interest rates are, are not going to rise anytime soon. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I mean, they better not. I mean, because as I've said... Several times on this show, I mean, I, I'm much more worried about deflation than inflation right now. I am not a. I'm, people say, "Oh, you're just a, you know, a dove on inflation." No, I'm not. I, I want stable prices, but you know, I look, I talk to the farmers, I talk to people who are selling minerals and commodities. They, they're facing a tough time. I mean, oil's up, you know, a bit now. That's the worst you've been called in the last couple of months. Is that people call you a dove? There's been some other. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, there's been I'm some no, more. Hawk haven't inflation. there been some more colorful terms though, with, from, the, from certain <laughs> parts of the? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's. that's I, I wouldn't mind being called a dove. I don't think it's a sweet bird, right? Well. They're going to cut rates next time, don't you think? What are they? I think that's, that's a pretty high. That's, that. The market's indicating that. That's a good thing. You think it's funny? I have that a question for you guys, because you cover this even closer than I do. If you're going to cut rates, why not do it now? Why wait, you know, a month? I mean, why not? Why not get but it over? Part of it may right. be that they don't want to give the president more. That's what it really sounds. Like. <laughs> there might be some. But it's sounded like that. I, but then who's playing politics, right? But I mean, how can you help say, it? We're not going to do but the right thing because we can. Can you help it with? I mean, Trump's been, um, you know, just relentless on Powell recently. Who? Trump? Yeah. yeah. Of course. I mean, I mean I just he's, only, week. he's only he's only human. Was in the Powell, office, yeah. by the way, when Trump uh, gave the. Uh, the uh, um, Presidential Medal of Freedom to Arthur Laffer, which so, was cool. What do you think about that, though, this issue of, of the Fed being politicized by the president? He says he's not threatening Powell, but, but then makes these comments that sound threatening. Yeah. I mean, how, how, you know, even, you know, some, Look, people, some people would argue, by the way, your, your nomination yeah. I think it's counterproductive so, for, so for what he what, wants. what I think about that. I, and I've told the president this. I, I mean, I think it's fine for the tr president to criticize the Fed when, they, when he thinks right. they're you know, promoting the economy. I think it's inappropriate for him to say, well, I want to get rid of Powell, you know, because I just don't. Look, unless Powell does something that is egregious or some, you know, something that would be cr some kind of criminal activity or something like that, then I don't think you. And by the way, let's not forget. Donald Trump appointed Jerome Powell. Right, right, it's not right. like this is an Obama leftover. So. And it ba you back him into a corner where he really resists doing what he would, might have done by now. Anyway, he's the new well, Jeff. He's the new Jeff Sessions now. But you know, remember what happened in January. I mean, th this bull market began in early January when the Fed had to put its tail between right. its legs and admit that it had no. made a mistake. See, now you're making it hard on him and too. Tr <laughs> was that and Trump was the one who was bashing right. them every day. So in a way, you know, Andrew, that might have had a right. positive effect on their thinking.